Hey guys, it's Kim. In today's video, I'm just going to do my March wrap-up and what I'm going to read in April. So the first book that I finished in March was Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, um, which I did a full review over it, if anybody cares. But um, anyway, I really like this book. I like the whole dynamic she's got going on here. I love all the characters and everything. So I gave this book four out of five stars on Goodreads. And like all the books that I'm going to talk about that I read for all half reviews that I did for them on Goodreads. So if y'all really want to hear like what I thought about them more in depth, then I would recommend checking out my Goodreads. But yeah, anyway, this was the first one. I liked it. Four out of five stars. All right, so the next book I don't have, it's on ebook because it's an adult book and I normally read them on ebook format. But anyway, it's called A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher. And that one is about a girl named Kat and it's told only in Kat's point of view, which honestly really irritated me because I really wish she would have done um, different points of view. But anyway, it's told in Kat's point of view and she's called a kingmaker. And kingmakers help, because of their special abilities, have the ability to help place people on the throne. That's why they're called kingmakers, because when they go to war, like, anyway, they can help put people on the throne. So that's what that book's about. And I liked it. It was a good book, but I didn't think it was the best book ever. There were a lot of things about it that annoyed me, which I went into depth on my good reason. Anyway, I gave that one three and three quarters of a star out of five, so 375 on Goodreads. Um, and it's not a standalone. I thought it was going to be, but it's not. It's uh, the first book in a series. So I'm not sure if I'll read the next book in the series, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's the second book that I read. All right, the next book was a new adult book that I read, and that was ebook format too. This was actually an arc. It doesn't come out until November this year, I think. Um, but it's by Rowan Carvery, I think that's her name, and it's called The Soul Catcher. So this book is about a girl who, she's kind of psychic, she sees the future. Well, not really. She does see the future, but she has to be touching someone, and it's only like their immediate future if they are in danger of dying. So if they're going to die and she touches them skin to skin, then she'll see how they die. So anyway, she gets wrapped up in this like serial killer murder spree that's going on. So she gets wrapped up into the investigation team and she's part of this like psychic ability team. So this team that's made up of psychics and they're trying to catch this killer. So that's what that book is about. I gave it three out of five stars because I didn't feel like there was enough character development in there, among other things. All right, so next I have Madeline Miller's The Song of Achilles. I actually have this book, guys. This one is an adult book too, but it's actually not like, there's nothing in it that I think makes it adult. It's just classified that way. But anyway, it's like Madeline Miller, oh, I can't speak. It's Madeline Miller's retelling or like her own version of the Odyssey, I think. So the main character in here is Patroclus. Um, if you've read the Odyssey, then you know Patroclus is Achilles' best friend. I did read that when I was in high school, but I don't remember anything about it, so I can't tell you if this book is, like, accurate, like, if it accurately portrays the Odyssey or any of those, like, Greek tragedies that I think sucked. That's why I don't remember them. But anyway, I really, really enjoyed this book. I thought it was a great book. I gave it four out of five stars because I just loved it so much. Um, it was actually recommended by the author, Mackenzie Lee, who is writing A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. So she gave out a couple of books to read in like while you're waiting for that book. And this was one of them. And I was like, oh my God, I want to read it. But anyway, it's Patroclus story. And it's like a romance in there going on between Patroclus and Achilles. So anyway, I was intrigued. I read it and I liked it. Next I have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. This book's been out a while, but I finally got to read it and finished it. And I liked it. It wasn't like, the greatest book on the planet honestly um i liked how it started and i liked the main character but i felt like towards the middle it kind of got a little slow and i was gonna give it three stars but then i really liked the ending the ending i think like saved the book for me it wasn't terrible but it like bumped it up um like more than i would have given it but anyway i gave it three 75 out of five stars on goodreads just because i thought it was a little predictable like not predictable. I had my theories about who Jack the Ripper was, and I was right. But Carrie Maniscalco is twisted. Like, oh my god. Like, I got to that part where it reveals who Jack the Ripper is, and I was like, oh my god. I was right. I didn't know who it was, but like, she took it like further than I thought it would go, and it was still like shocking. Like, even though I know who it was, like, I was like, she wrote that scene like stellarly. She does a good job. I just feel like it could have been done maybe a little bit better. But either way, I'm excited for the second book 
that is hunting for Dracula, and I will read it. All right, and the last book I finished in April was Towards a Secret Sky by Heather McLean. This book comes out in April. It was an ARC when I read it, because I read it in March, obviously. But anyway, um, this book is about a girl named Marin who mother dies and she her father died when she was young so I mean she only had her mother and so her mother dies and she's sent to Scotland to live with grandparents who she's never met in her life and she starts figuring things out about her mother and her father that she didn't know before they died like they were part of this secret organization that fights crime um, and it doesn't say this in the synopsis, so I guess this is a bit of a spoiler, but I don't really think it's a spoiler. But anyway, there's like angels and demons in this book, so that's the organization of crime she was fighting against, not necessarily the angels, but the demons, obviously. And so I didn't know what to expect of this book. Honestly, I don't like angels and demons books, but I really liked this book for some, for some reason. It worked, and it had like a whole insta-love thing going on there, which I hate insta-love, but it worked somehow in this book. So anyway, I gave it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, and actually looking forward to the second book whenever that comes out, because, you know, this was an arc, so it's probably going to come out next year sometime. Those were all the books that I read in April, so now I'm going to tell you what I plan to read in March, which, by the way, if you didn't notice, like, the books that I was supposed to read in March are not the books that I read. Like, I completely deviated from my plan. But anyway, this is what I plan to read this month of April, and I think I'm going to stick more to it, because, like, for this one, like, I'm going to be more rigid about it, because some of these books that I'm reading are in preparation for books that come out in May, so anyway. So the first one is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, and I've already actually started this one. I'm 100 pages in, and I'm really liking it. Like, it's not the best novel that I've ever read, but it's very compelling, which I really didn't know what to expect on this novel, but I'm liking it so far, and I really want to watch the show and, like, compare it to it. All right, the next book is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Abertalli. So this book, I'm... I mean, I'm not sure if y'all know what it's about, but it's about a 17-year-old girl named Molly who, like, has had many, many crushes on guys, but she never actually goes for it because she's too shy. And so now in her life that she's 17, she's actually going to go for it. And there's not one guy, but two guys, actually, that she's kind of got a thing going there, if that makes any sense. But anyway, this is an arc. It comes out this month, though, halfway through the month. So I'm super excited about this because she is the author of Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda, which actually making it into a movie. But anyway, I love that novel, so I'm excited about this one. The next book I'm actually are I'm in the middle, not the middle of it, but I've already started it, is by Elizabeth May and it's called The Falconer. And this book, I'm not gonna go into too much detail over what it's about, but it's set in 1844 and it's about a girl named Al Aliana, Aliana, oh, something with an A, I don't know how to pronounce it, but she kills fairies. So that's what it's about. Like I said, I've started it and so far I'm really liking it. She's um she's pretty fierce. All right, so I'm sure everybody knows what these are about. Um, these are Sarah J. Moss's Beauty and the Beast retelling books. So this is A Court of Thorns and Roses. I've actually already read this book. I read it when it came out, but I want to reread it to get a refresher because I have not read this one, which is, you know it's the second one, Support of Miss and Fury. So I really want to reread this one, like refresh myself, then read this one, and then read the next book that comes out in May. All right, lastly is Brendan Wright's Nemesis. This book came out in March. Um, and I really, really want to read it. I really like Brendan Rice. He's super funny, and I think that's reflected in the viral series. So I don't know how this book is going to be because the viral series was like it was co-written with his mother, and this is his first like own piece of work that he does by himself. But it's got like a really, really interesting um, synopsis to it. It's about a girl named Min who's murdered every two years on her birthday, and then she wakes up the next day like with no memory of what happened other than that it hurt like hell. Um, and another boy, I think his name is Noah, who is plagued by nightmares of like death. So somehow they're connected. Don't know how, because I haven't read it, but I know that they're connected. And there's like a conspiracy theory going on, I think he said, because I heard him talk about his own book, and he said there was like a conspiracy theory going on like in their school that somehow involved 52 other students in this thing. So I don't know how that's going to come together, but it's going to come together somehow. And I'm super excited about this book. It actually hit the New York Times bestseller list, um, book number 10. So yay! But yeah. Anyways, that is my uh, March wrap-up and April TBR. That is all I have for you today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you all did, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.